So far you have seen how to install the Playwright in Visual Studio Code. In this video I will discuss Playwright default folder structure. So here I will navigate to the VS Code. So last time we have installed the Playwright in this VS Code. So if you look at on the left side, there are three folders and uh, four files created automatically. So let's go to the very first folder node underscore models. So this particular folder will be created when you run the npm command. So it contains all the dependent dependency information and all inbuilt plugins and uh, libraries and also it contains the all inbuilt uh, javascript files and also typescript files if you see here so there are multiple typescript files are present inside that type slash nodes and if i go to the another playwright folder playwright hyphen core folder and if you see here there are multiple javascript file files also present inside the node underscore models so basically this contains the dependency details and all inbuilt libraries and uh, plugins which is uh, required for the creating and running the playwright tests next two folders we are having one is uh, tests and another one is tests hyphen examples so these two folder contains spec files so whenever you need to write a automation test in playwright you need to create a file name followed by spec.ts file so within a spec file you can write n number of test cases like this so basically by default play Microsoft has provided a two folders tests folder and a tests hyphen examples folder so these two spec files contains the some playwright sample tests so if you go to the example.spec.ts file simply if you click on this it will run the test so if you see here it got executed successfully right and if you see here results also it got passed and once the execution is completed it has generated the another two folders one is playwright hyphen report which contains the html report and another folder we are having test hyphen results which will contains the trace viewer information say for example if you are record recording the test execution so that information also will be generated inside the test hyphen results so basically these two folder contains the automated tests and next file we have git ignore so say for example if, if you do not want to commit and push the particular file into the repository so those kind of files you can add it here so if you see here we have added a by default microsoft added a couple of folder names so these folders it it won't be committed to the git version control system by default so if you are having any additional files where it contains uh, some important information which you cannot share it so those kind of files you can add it here so that it will be not committed automatically and next file we are having package.json file so this package.json file contains three set of information one is the metadata and the second part is dependency information so right now we have not installed any additional dependency if i have installed any dependencies all that information will be added over here 
and our third thing is we will be using the scripts so here we can add a number of playwright commands and those commands can be executed by using the keys and we have a package hyphen log.json file so this particular file will be generated one once you run the npm command so this particular file contains the exact tree of the dependencies and also exact version of the dependencies and also it contains the nested dependency information also and version of the each dependency and it contains the detailed information on the dependency part and uh, also here you can see that result so this contains the url from where exactly this dependency got downloaded and at the end we have playwright.config.ts file so this file contains all the configurations required for the playwright test development and executions say for example in the line number 15 we are having test directory path so you can create any custom folder and you here you can add it so that whenever you start executing it it will run only particular location test cases and you can set the retry so whenever your test is getting failed so it will auto retry it will retry for the execution for two times if it is in the pipeline so this is a local parameter if you are running it in the rogue local and if you want to retry for one time simply you can add it a one here and also you can run your automated test parallelly also by setting this flag and by using the workers processes and also you can generate the multiple test reports so this is where you need to add it what kind of report you need to generate it and at last it contains the project's information like uh, here you need to specify what are the projects and uh, say for example if you have added one project all your test will be executed on this particular project if you have not specified the project information so by default your test will be executed on all the specified projects so that's a bit about the playwright default folder structure